Okay. We're live. They all... It's so weird when nobody's not in here yet. You all are about to be in here. But I have to act like you are because you're going to see the live stream after this is all done. There we are. Okay. Let me see if I can get Frank in here. Okay. There's Frank. Let me invite him to the broadcast. Okay. Let's see if we can get him on here. Yo. Hey, Frank. Yo, what's up? How are you doing? I'm a zombie because here is 6 a.m. <laughs> It is 6 a.m. So, and to everybody watching right now, I'm in Oklahoma. Frank is in Italy. I'm extremely tired because it's past 11. And Frank is extremely tired because it's 6 a.m. But that's what we yeah. do as musicians. Right, Frank? Right. Oh, yeah, man. How's, I always joke with Frank. And I, I tell you, man, and, and to the people who are watching as well, I always say we live in the exact opposites in the world. Because in Italy, you guys are super cultured. You're skinny. You know, everything. And then in Oklahoma, we're fat. We smoke cigarettes, man. We drink a lot no. of beer, right? That's not true. That's not true. And our Italian food sucks, right, man? No. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, our Italian food in America sucks. We can, we can admit it. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Well, hey, I know there's other people watching, man, but I want to talk to you for a second. You feeling good? You feeling good today? Yeah, really excited about anything. And yeah. You know, the, the video, the music video is great. So oh, I can be happier, here. seriously. I want to figure out, hold on, let me see. I hope, okay, here's our, okay, now I can see. Frank, can you see the comments, man? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Because I want to ask everybody who's watching, what do we think about the record? Have you guys heard it yet? Do you guys like it? Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see if anyone can give us my response. I'm seeing a much love. I think that means good. Somebody's asking Grace and why are you like this? I don't know. You can you can ask God that. <laughs> why do you, why do you think I'm like the way I am, Frank? I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of hearts and a lot of thumbs up. So I think yeah. that means they like the record, Frank. Yeah, I think I guess. I think so. Well, I have to say, when I woke up this morning um, mm -hmm. and seeing it out, it, I kind of get that. Like e every time we release a new song or we release a new record. It's like yeah. that morning of feeling, man, you know, where you're like, you're super <laughs> nervous for everybody to hear it. But then when you get to hear it, uh, or when everyone is now like able to hear it, it just like brings a joy to my heart. So I've loved this record for a really long time. So I'm glad that everybody um, has now been able to listen to it. Yeah, me too. I feel yeah. like I'm sick, you know? Sick in a good way, though, right? In a good way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love, and, and for two, for the people watching as well, when, when Frank and I wrote this record in L.A., it was fun because I got to sort of teach Frank a little bit about America. Um, and so yeah. we, would rock, we would walk around L.A., man, and uh, I think one of the things that you said, man, is you were like, everything here is fried. <laughs> yeah. And I would be like, fuck yeah, it is. This is America, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how we roll um but yeah i remember we uh we were just writing out some interview questions i think you and i got the same uh email interview for some stuff and i was reminiscing on yeah. like how we wrote the song man and this record just so like you guys know out there this record is all about like you know being optimistic and like going back to a past person in your life and saying like i would do anything for you I'd burn my money, although, like, you shouldn't burn your money. That's not a good idea. Don't, don't do that. But, like, I'd burn my money. Um, you know, I'd do anything to be back with you. And after we've gone through all these tough times, um, and after I've gone through all these tough times, like, I'm here now for you. So it's a pretty optimistic message, which is, which is pretty rare for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm really good with the sad <laughs> songs, Frank. That's easy for me. Yeah, me, me too, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, I... Sad songs make, makes me happier. I don't know why. But <laughs> yeah. maybe, you know, they give me that feeling. In yeah. that moment, maybe I'm sad. But yeah. after that, I'm, I'm happier. I don't know why. Well, all the fans here know, man, about 
about I have a record called More Than Me, which I end my set with it. Yeah. And it's seriously, like, I feel bad, like, because, you know, like, playing live and stuff, I feel bad because when I end the night like that, it's such a damper, but it's, like, the saddest song in the world, but it's one of my favorite songs. Um, <laughs> but I feel bad when I'm leaving a show and I'm saying, good night, everybody. I'm so sorry that I broke all of your guys' hearts with this record, and now I'm going to, like, go drown myself in some whiskey. Um, I'm sorry because yeah. this is just so sad, but, uh, but it's a good time. <laughs> okay, I'm wondering, Frank, should we try to answer some questions, man? Okay, let's do it. You want to take the first one? You want me to take the first one? Guys, make sure, let's start sending some questions in so Frank can ask yeah. start answering some stuff. Um, what do you, okay, I'm saying more than The first question I see. Oh. You see something? Yeah, maybe not the same as you. Okay, same here, you take, thing, you take the first one first. Yeah, if, if somebody asks some, something. Okay, okay are you excited seen. for Gaga's new album? <laughs> hey, I'll let you take that one, Frank. <laughs> okay. I actually don't know anything about Gaga, but right now, I mean, oh, man. I will check it out. You're talking, you're talking to the wrong awesome. guy, dude. She's the, she's know, the one that got me on the map, man. I, yeah, I, I will, know that. I'll say, I'll answer this one, too. I will say that Perfect Illusion, uh, which is a new record she just put out, is yeah, 10 out well, of 10 I in my books. Song. Yeah, I think it's super special, and I think what she's doing right now yeah. is awesome. And uh, everybody knows how much I love LG, so um, I'm <laughs> yeah. ready for this album. I think it's going to be pretty great, too. That's a, that's a cool question to start off. All right, let me see if I can yeah. find one, Frank. Um, your turn. Okay. Alexandra is asking, what was your inspiration for anything? I met you in Dallas. Well, hello again, Alexandra. Um, Frank, we should answer this one together. For me... I think anything was like, you know, sort of like how I said in the beginning of like this live stream, I, it's easier for me to write sad songs. Like that's, that's like, because that's just like my easy and like, that's my comfort place, you know? And I think this yeah. record, you, me and Cameron, who Cameron Forbes is our songwriter, our uh, co-writer on this song. I think we sat down and, and, and that like first line is like coming home on that highway. I think we were all kind of yeah. thinking of like, what is it going to feel like if you have somebody in your life, you've missed them for a really long time and you, you want to, you want them back. Like, what are you feeling and, and what are you going to say to them? And, uh, I don't know if you guys picked up, but one of my favorite lyrics from this song is, uh, words were never our forte. No, missing you is the foreplay. Um, and I think that's pretty true when you have a past lover that you get back in your life. So I would say the inspiration for me was just like, yeah, trying to get somebody who you've known, a lot back into your life and uh really telling them like i would do anything for you because you're you're like you're my a team uh 100 percent. frank you want to roll off on that yeah but <laughs> to me the song is you know it's just something i play with with piano and yeah you know the lyrics of course our studio session was great yeah. and i totally you know feel what you what you wrote so yeah. Yeah. Your 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 answer is just perfect. So what can I what can you I know, add to it? Frank, he he makes it easy for me because when I walked into the <laughs> studio, he had the he had the beat already down, and I said, "Because guys, when when I'm in the studio and I like something a lot, I'll I'll go woo, I'll go hell yeah, that's that's what we need right there, that's what we want." And I and I think I definitely did that when we went in that day, so it was pretty easy. Yeah. Okay, here, let me see if I can find yeah. something else for us, Frank. Okay. Okay. Let me see. This app is so cool, I swear. Um, okay, hey, here's somebody, Frank, that's saying, Frank Pohl, I love your music. I'm from Peru. Her name's Maria. Oh, thanks. Hey. Thanks, Maria. Frank yeah. is going to fly to Peru to see you, Maria. And our manager, <laughs> Alex, is going to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, Frank, you mind if I take a question? Uh, yeah, I see Tanya Viscas. Anything was much is the ham jam. I was wondering if you have a favorite lyrics for the song. You already yeah. say that. Okay, but, but what are yours, you know, man? I think my favorite lyrics is, um, you know, it's just on the drop part when you start, you know, say, saying stuff. Like, that part is awesome. When I'd say when I was playing it for some friends this week, uh, there's 
there's a section of the record where we have that, if I can't have you, if I can't have you, those little mm-hmm. repeats, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. my friends were just like, oh, we like those. Like, those are good. So that, that, made me feel, uh, that made me feel happy. But yeah, I already said my favorite lyric, which is like, words were never our forte, missing you is the foreplay. So like, yeah. we've, we've already done the foreplay because I've already missed you. So your guys' dirty minds can let you know what's going to happen next. Because that's what we meant in this song. We'll be completely honest. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I like about everything yeah. is that the, the main chorus is mm-hmm. the chorus in the first part, but in the second yeah. part is like a bridge. So oh, yeah. there's this kind of, you know, transformation, evolution, I don't know, but I really like that. Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah man. Hey, well, you, I, you, I, think, I think you should quit your job in construction, Frank, and be a full-time musician. <laughs> <laughs> think, hey, by the way, by the way, too, I'm, <laughs> I'm being a mom and drinking Diet Coke. I know, Diet man. Coke, wow. Well. It's very Italian. It, you belong mm. with me. Drink up. It has everybody. the same color as coffee. <laughs> okay, here. Let me <laughs> see. Let me see. If, let me see if I can find a question. Okay, let me see here. Okay. Um, somebody. Somebody says. I think Maha is how you pronounce it. They said Frank's accent. So they like your accent, Frank. Well, damn. A oh. lot of people like your. You, accent. You're the first one. What? What about my accent, you guys? That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> It's pretty shitty. Frank's taking all the attention. Okay. Uh, let me see. What do I have? Um, okay. Uh, someone. Okay. We're not going to say that because that's inappropriate. Um, okay. Let me see here. Do you have any plan to make a new song together? Yes. Why not? Well, they, they asked me the same. Uh, I don't know if anyone from Singapore or anyone in this chat is from Singapore, but I just did a interview with 98.7. Um, in Singapore, mm-hmm. and they were talking about how much they liked the song, and they said, where's the next one, you know, we want the next record, and I said, I, well, I know we had, because we worked on anything when we did the st- sessions in LA, and I felt like we laid some other stuff down, too, um, Yeah. and so I think it, I think it might, I might be coming back around, but I don't, and too, to all the people here as well, um, I met Frank after he did the remix for Afterlife, which I swear to God, I still think is the most banging trap ever. Yeah. I still play that. I love that joint. And then really after I heard that, the remix. yeah, after I heard that first copy, I said, I gotta, I gotta get a feature on this guy's record. There's something, something's going to happen here too, for sure. I, I love that remix, Frank, so much, man. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I'm from California. Nice try. Ha ha. Okay. Jamie, let me see. Okay, you guys are just saying a lot of Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, okay, Frank, are you a Harry Potter fan? Okay. You Are you I'm a sorry? Harry Potter fan? You better say Potter you're a fan. Harry Potter fan. No, you don't know anything about Harry Potter, do you? <laughs> okay, <that>? someone's asking. <laughs> she's saying, what's your Hogwarts house? Which in Harry Potter, I'm, I'm a Slytherin. Well, no, I think I'm a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin. I think, Frank, you would probably be, I don't know, you're Italian. You drink a lot. So you'd probably be a Gryffindor. I think, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I think. I think somewhere around there. <laughs> okay, let me see we'll what else we can do. We'll, we'll say something later. Uh, someone's saying yeah. I'm from the Philippines and I really love anything. Thank you. I was just I was just in Thanks. the Philippines like two months ago. It's a good time, Frank. You're you're gonna Describe have to you're gonna have to go to all these places. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, what, what's because... the question? Mora del Rosario said, mm-hmm. "Describe your relationship with Frank." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my. I, I think I think I'm a. I think I'm just a. I, I show Frank America. That's that's my role. Yeah. Whenever he comes to America, I. Or Alex at least shows him the nice parts, and I show him the really like hole in the wall, terrible like taco stands and and all that stuff too. But dude, you you still yeah. need to come to Oklahoma. I'm telling you, man, you'll you'll love it here. The Italian food is probably worse in Oklahoma than it is in LA. Believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> When you come to Italy, I will show you everything. So okay, that's good. I I will be there tomorrow, dude. Promise. Yeah. Come on, we gotta make that. Okay, okay Frank. I have a question. I, you got it. Okay, you you go. Okay, I will. I want to say someone's asking, 
Hannah Barnes is saying, um, this is kind of not related to anything, but I do need to talk about this for two seconds. I'm sorry. She's saying, when is the documentary coming out? Okay, I've been getting a lot of stuff okay. about this on Twitter. So I just want to clarify, it is, it is done with. It has been edited, filmed, and all sorts of stuff. Everything that is happening now is just technicalities, getting contracts together. There's so much behind the scenes stuff that unfortunately just takes a lot of time. So everything is finished with the project. We're just waiting on the last pieces and then it's going to be out to you guys. And still, I'm really excited for you to see it. Um, I saw like the final edit a couple weeks ago, and I think you guys are really going to love it. So just a little more patience with me um, and with this entire process. But Frank, you know how the music industry works. It's hard sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And it the, takes a know, while, too. Anything was already like two months ago, and it's out now. So Yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard it's like because this. there's all these guys yeah. that wear suits, everybody, and they have these contracts and stuff. And musicians like Frank and yeah. me just have to sit back and drink our coffee <laughs> <laughs> and, and figure it out. Or Diet Coke. Or, and or Diet Coke. Okay, let me see oh, what else I can find. Alex said something. Laura and I want to know what has better eyebrows. Alex, what, what the heck? Alex... Who okay? Let's ask, let's ask the people on here. Wh who do we think has has the best eyebrows? I think you know mine are bigger than yours for sure. I have a friend here who's gonna probably be a little biased. What do you think? I th I think. I think I think I have pretty good. I I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. I'm getting I'm hmm. getting a bit I'm getting a bit mixed reviews, Frank. I, people, no. <laughs> when, I, when I, we first started putting out records on Somewhere Over My Head, people would always send me text and be like, eyebrows on fleek. And I always thought that meant like something bad. I always thought that was no, like, uh, that's a really good terrible. Thing. Okay, that's a good thing. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Okay, what do we have? Um, okay, people are saying, oh, now they're going. Okay, here's a good question. Anyway, oh, okay. I have one by Ari. She says, how long does it take to write, or how long did it take to write this song? Um, this one was really quick. Like, this one did not take a lot of time, yeah. I don't think. Um, yeah. I think... When we start... Can I say something? Yeah, go, man. When we start to, to write that, the beat was already done by me. Yeah. So I take, like, two weeks to make that because I wanted to focus on the sounds because the, yeah. you know, the riff is very simple, but the sounds are you know, pretty good. And yeah. uh, you know, when, when, we was, when we were in the studio, the, the song was just like that. Yeah. One day, a little bit more. And, and I think too, I don't know if you feel the same, but I always find like when I go into, go into a studio and when it's really, um, like when it's really hard, when like nothing's just coming and it's like super forced, I always find those are kind of the worst songs. Like, you know what I mean? Like the, yeah. the best songs I think happen quick because it's just that like instant, like, yeah, this is right. This is where we need to be. And I feel like for this record, the idea just sort of came like really, really naturally for it. Um, and it didn't feel like a struggle at all. And I think that's what, yeah. that's why it's such a good feel good record, you know? Um, so yeah, this one, this one, to answer your question, Ari, this one was very, very quick. Um, but yeah. my job is easy. I just go and sing for a bit, and then Frank has to take it and make it sound all good. And I just get oh. out of the studio and come back to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Okay, here, let me see if I can find another question. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, here's one from Ed. He says, anything as a prominent piano element through the entire track, is that unusual in this genre? Um, those are Grayson's cuts. Where were they recorded? Frank, I think you did the piano on this record, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I played I did the all, keys. All the bit, you know. Yeah, which, um, yeah, I think, I don't know if it's necessarily unique for this genre. I feel like right now in music, there's no such thing as a genre anymore, which is kind of yeah. nice. Okay. Um, yeah, and I think I think we are both similar in the way that. I just like things that feel right, you know, and instruments that feel good. Um, and I think the piano on this track was just like, yeah, it just kind of had to be there, you know? Um, yeah. But, but Frank is a lot more talented than me, so he played it. No. <laughs> Stop saying that. that. 
Um, okay, Frank, I gotta, I gotta answer this one too real quick. Cause this is funny. Okay. Um, I just did a podcast with Shane Dawson. He's like an, uh, an American, uh, internet guy. Like he does like podcasts and a lot of YouTube interviews. And she's asking, what was the podcast with Shane? Like, um, it was crazy. Frank, they asked me like about porn categories and all these weird things. And I was just what? like, Oh my God, my mom can't hear this. Um, but no, to answer your question, Ruby, Shane is amazing. He's absolutely, he has lost his mind, but it, it's so great that he has lost his mind. Um, but he, yeah, they, they made my cheeks so rosy when I was doing that interview because I was very nervous. My mom was going to see me talking about fucking porn categories, Frank. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh so my God. terrifying. It was bad. Okay, here, I'm going to keep on scrolling through these. I can find any questions. Uh, I see. Someone's asking, they say dance together. I just want to let you guys know again, man. Frank is halfway across the world and I'm I'm in the I'm in the middle of Oklahoma. So that might be a little hard. Yeah. Um okay, let me see. So uh, okay. Will you guys do an acoustic version for anything? Afi's asking that. Um, you know, I just did a show in Dallas and I really wanted to do an acoustic version of anything. Um but for some reason I didn't, but we should work on that, Frank. We should try to get these guys a piano yeah. vocal of the song. I think that would I can be really something. nice. I can yeah. work something, you know, on, on the piano and send it yeah. to you. I, I it think they awesome. would like that a lot. Do you guys, I mean, what do, you, what do the people in this chat think? Do you guys want to hear an acoustic version? Do we want something like that? Here, we'll see what they say. But I think they would like that. I feel like we should work Yeah, here. I'm sure of that. Okay. Um, okay, would here's you one. Would you like Frank's? Uh, Jamie Lee. <laughs> Are you going to? to be man, I, dude, I can't. I can't. You're you're too you're too swag, man. I don't. My my dad has a thick head of hair, but he can't grow a beard. But I would much rather have a thick head of hair than anything else. And yeah. my eyebrows, man. I'll take <laughs> I'll take my eyebrows all day. Hey, here's a cool here's a cool question from yeah. Will. I think Feed is your last name or Fed. Excuse me if I mispronounce it. Um, he's saying, hey, Grayson and Frank, I'm a filmmaker. A lot of my writing is inspired by music. Wondering if your process is ever inspired by cinema. Frank, I'll let you take that one first, man. Are you ever inspired by movies? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, you know, I like every kind of music except uh, music. I mean, movies. Except, you know, the action without, yeah. you know, a anything more, just action. I don't like that. Yeah. I think I'm massively inspired by movies. I don't know if I'm as, I like uh, the music in a lot of films, like the scores and stuff yeah. like that. But I think just like a good storyline in a movie is so important and so like um, inspiring as a songwriter. So I would say, uh, you know, I just saw a movie last night actually called Hell or High Water um, with, a, uh, with Jeff Bridges and some other people. And it inspired me so much to just like, after I saw this movie, Frank, I wanted to like go into the studio with like an electric guitar, man, and just like sing like some country ass like uh, song because it was just so inspiring, this movie. So uh, like Frank, uh, to answer your question, Will, yeah, I'm, I'm massively inspired by movies all the time. And as a musician yeah. and as a creative, uh, yeah, it's always inspiring me for sure. I think the movies that inspire me more are, you know, uh, animated music like Disney, Pixar, for example. Yeah, you like Pixar movies, man? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is my favorite. My favorite movie, my... I think, is Wally. You know, <laughs> that there is nothing but music and stuff like that. It's awesome. <laughs> Frank is still like 12 years old, everybody, watching Wally. <laughs> oh, a guy on Twitter told that I'm 40 years old. Yeah, but hey, man, and I like, I like yeah. dude, I'm a Toy Story guy, man. That's my favorite, uh, that's my favorite Pixar movie. Oh, but I saw something so messed up on Twitter, by the way, last night. This is why the internet is a terrible place. Somebody yeah. said, somebody sent out a tweet and said, if one of the toys in Toy Story died, they would, the other toys would have to watch the owner play with a corpse because, like, the toy would be dead, but the owner would still play. How fucked up is that, man? That's yeah, first so of sad. All, toys cannot die because the first movie, <laughs> Seed was we don't... just blown away. 
I don't know. We Actually, don't. They can die. <laughs> the okay. morale. Okay. So everybody who's okay. who's writing papers right now and is in school, write your next essay on the morality. If morality exists in Toy Story, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm sure your professor is going to like that. Let's see. Okay. What can I find here? Okay. It's somebody's birthday. We should say happy birthday to Mandy, Frank. Say happy birthday oh, to Mandy. I'm Mandy. I'm Mandy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What do you say in Italy? You say ciao, right? Ciao. Does, no, that means yeah. goodbye, right? It means hi and goodbye. Okay, okay. It means hi and goodbye. Okay, here's a question, Frank, that we can both answer. What okay. is your favorite place to write a song? Mm, I think, you know, in my bed. Yeah. Do you have a, a setup in your bedroom? Sleep, no, but every time I go to sleep, somebody happens in my mind and yeah. I start thinking about songs and I have to get up and turn on the PC and yeah. write the song. I will say I think the best music that I've ever, that I always write is when it's in the morning and it's when I'm waking up in my house, man, and I have my cup of coffee. Um, and I go to the piano because my voice, like, in the morning is super raw, right? Like, I can't, like hit crazy notes so i kind of just have to work within this like limit um and i just drink my coffee man and i just start playing um and there's just something about playing on the piano that like you grew up playing on that's like super special you know um and so i do that man and like some of the best music i've ever written certainly comes from those <laughs> moments yeah you're in the morning and me in the you know during the night yeah, so yeah. I think they, they can be in the same moment. Now, I, I will say, if it's nighttime and I have a little whiskey in me, then I like to be in the studio. <laughs> For whiskey. sure. Yeah. <laughs> because that's, that's what you do. Hey, Jewel is asking, okay. she says, what's your nationality, Frank? We've already talked about it, but remind the kids oh. at home. I'm Italian. So, Italian. He's not, he's not just Italian. He's Italiano, right? Italiano, yeah. He's Italiano. Oh, dude, with, I'm gonna do with, this. with hand sign, yeah. Wait, but this is bad, right, in Italian? No? This, uh, yeah. yeah, it means, like, what you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Frank says it's yeah. what you want. <laughs> I have a but friend here. This is what here you want, and, and this oh, is, this, I don't give a damn. Oh, this is, I don't give a damn, okay. Yeah. Hey, so, I don't give a damn, I would do anything for you. Hey. Yeah. That's Plug. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can answer a couple more, and then I, I, yeah. it's past my bedtime. Okay. No. Hey, Frank. This is a good question. She's saying Sheila's okay. asking, "What's your favorite drink while you're writing a song?" I kind of already said mine. I'm in love with gin tonic. The gin and tonic. Okay. Yeah. That's a good I'm one. In love with I. That. I only drink whiskey in countries where it's legal for me to drink whiskey. Don't drink underage. It's very, very bad. You're so and American. And whiskey. never drink and drive. That, that's my never. Yeah, that's Like, okay. seriously, that's just stupid. And only drink in countries where it's legal or just don't get caught. Yeah. Hello, parents. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see what else we have. Okay. Um, somebody's saying is there going to be a music video. There is a music video. It is up on YouTube right now. Frank and yeah. I are not in it, but it's an amazing video. Yeah, go watch it. And it tells a nice story, too. Okay, let me see here. They're saying, uh, sing now, sing now. Um, sing. Well, I did. I, I sang the, um, if I can't have you, if I can't have you, what am I going to do? That's all, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> now, Frank, do you want to sing the rest? Hell no. no. <laughs> he says, hell no. All right, okay. How about a couple more questions, Frank? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how about that? Um, okay, so we kind of maybe already talked about this, but Fiona's asking, how do you feel now that the song is out? I don't know. Very relaxed. I was yeah. like, <laughs> hard, you know, like this yeah. all the time yeah. because, you know, I was, I wanted to, to the song be out and yeah one you know now it's out and i'm like oh yeah that's yeah. why i'm feeling like sick because i'm too relaxed like yeah 
I, I always feel the same. Like it's, it's that mass amount of nervousness. Like you don't know how it's going to go. You don't know what people are going to think about it. Um, but there's nothing better. Like seriously waking up this morning and seeing uh, the response to the record and, and seeing you guys really like it and really enjoying it. Um, that just, yeah, that makes, that makes my day. And I know it makes Frank's day too. So I will say that I feel yeah. really, really good. And I'm glad that you guys get to hear this song because it's been a long time in the making and, um, and we've had it for quite a while now, so it feels really great uh, for you guys to be experiencing with it um, or experiencing it with us as well. So uh, I feel just as relaxed as Frank does probably too and very excited as well. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. let's take a couple let's more. Let's pick up. Uh, yeah. Dude, okay. you have to teach me how to, to pick up questions. I like to see comments go. They they come they come in and they come out. Here's this is not a question, but Claire says that she has an exam coming up. We need to wish her luck, Claire. Yo, break a leg. Good luck, good luck. Um, B is asking any album coming up. I'll let you take that one, Frank. First. For me, no album com is coming out. Just singles. No album, just songs. Just singles. But that's okay. Yeah. For me, yeah. at the moment, as most you? of you guys know, I am back in writing mode. So I'm back on the piano and uh, trying to figure out what what the new uh, Grayson is after somewhere over my head and what the new music is going to sound like. But I'm very excited about everything right now. And I really like – I got to play some new songs in Dallas. And that was really, really awesome and uh, was really fun for me too. So um frank says no album coming out for him i am in the studio so you guys know what that means let me okay let's see all right how let's about see. two more okay. okay um someone's asking see you're lucky frank someone's asking me they're saying do you ever go back and watch your old music videos you're lucky that you don't have music videos where you were still 12 years old because i do <laughs> And I have a lot yeah. of them too. And I think like that, a lot. I think, you know, you might be a little, you know, disgusted about it. Or not. Well, it it's like I just look back and I'm like, why who who said that it was okay for me to wear that? Like who who in their right mind was like, Yes, that cashmere cardigan looks so good on a thirteen year old. Go, kid. <laughs> Do it. You know. Um I think yeah. it's normal. When I yeah. when I saw you know old photos, I'm like, what I was thinking <laughs> about. <laughs> I I like I like the clothes I wear now a lot more in the songs I think now. But hey, little Grayson, still very close to my heart. Without him, I wouldn't have anything I have now. So I thank him with all my life. But I don't go listening to unfriend you a lot to that person that um, that asked me. Um, okay, let's pick one more, Frank. Okay, okay. hey, this is this is a good one. Um, or wait, actually, hold on. I was going to say... Okay. okay, yeah, I'm trying to end on a fun one. Okay, let's find a fun one. People, send some fun ones in. Okay, um, Okay. well, here's, here's a good one to end on, Frank. Someone's asking, okay. what, are your favorite, what are your favorite memories together? I will go first. My favorite memory was today, releasing this song with my good friend, Frank Pohl. I'm so glad you guys like it. Um, and it was a really, it was a fun time making it with him. So now that you guys get to live with the record, this is my favorite memory. And Frank, we got to write more records together, my friend. Yeah, my, I think my favorite moment with Grayson was uh, when he brought me to, to eat something and I <laughs> paid him like chips. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> but he wanted you... to pay and I'm like, no, I pay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to pay. No. And... <laughs> That's, it was, that's what I got to do. I'm the American, man. You're visiting my country. I got to pay. Got to pay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, hey, on that note, everybody, thank you so much for supporting anything. Um, it means a lot to me. I know yeah. it means a lot to Frank. And uh, we're excited to have thank you guys you so here. Much. And keep on yeah. playing the song. Keep on telling your friends. And Frank, you want to say something? Yeah. Just thank you. It's, it's like a dream to me. So, you know. Keep this way, guys. Yeah. And as we say in Frank's country, ciao, right? Ciao. Ciao? Yeah. Ciao, everybody. Good night. Good night, Frank. <laughs> Can play anything. Keep on telling your friends. We'll see you guys soon.
Yeah. All right. Bye, man.